Significant TV. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Lugenia Trailblazer Rucker, transformation speaker, coach, and author of Divine Destiny Institute. Lugenia, welcome, and thanks for being on the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you for it's really a pleasure. You and I have crossed paths yes. in a very positive way, a number of workshops and conferences over the years. Yes. And yes. you have truly been a trailblazer. <laughs> now, I know that. Share with the audience the trailblazing aspect of you. Awesome, awesome. You know, friend, mindset is everything. And so I am passionate about working with women to shift their mindset so that we can create trailblazing transformation within. Mm. We go within, we peel back the layers, we dive in deep into your story, into who you are and what you were created to do. Because mm -hmm. everyone has an assignment mm -hmm. and everyone is attached to a group of people, a tribe, a clan, mm -hmm. a family, mm -hmm. call it what you may. But in this universe, there are people that we are assigned to, to serve, to help, mm -hmm. and to support. So mm -hmm. we need to shift out of the old into the new and create transformation, trailblazing transformation, where trailblazing. we're leaving the footprints into destiny. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Transformation. Mm -hmm trailblazing mm -hmm. the footprints into destiny yes wow yes. Um, it sounds like there's unlimited possibilities Absolutely. I mean, regardless yes. of where you came Absolutely. from regardless of your circumstances yes you can set through your mindset a new path Absolutely. How do you how do you do that? What what and and maybe I should go back. What was your story in doing that? Is mm -hmm. there a personal mm -hmm. story that sort of led you to help others to do this? Yes, I've been mm -hmm. through a season of turning obstacles into opportunities, mm -hmm. overcoming mm -hmm. and really making up my mind that no matter what, no matter what happens in life, no matter what presents itself, you have to be determined that you're going to reach your destiny. So mm -hmm. first you have to go within. Mm -hmm. You have to discover who you are. Mm -hmm. We each have in DNA a unique, dynamic, natural ability. Ooh, let's freeze frame there. <laughs> DNA. Yes. This, this is like literally <laughs> coded stuff. <laughs> Got the joke? Um, so <laughs> DNA. Yes. Say it again. What is it? Distinct natural ability. Really cool. Yes, okay. yes. And our assignment in life is to discover it mm -hmm. and then unlock it, mm -hmm. release it, and impact and make a difference in the world. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is very motivational. And I know that you're a speaker and a coach yes. and an author. When you work with people, how do people take that motivation and that work of going within and make it something that's tangible. You, mm -hmm. you talked about transformational, but mm -hmm. now I'm gonna put on my process hat and say, mm -hmm. you know, like how do I know that it's working? How does my manager know that this is gonna make a difference in me as an employee? Well, when you begin to change within, when you begin to deal with the dark conflicts or the dark issues, mm -hmm. and you begin to peel back, the light begins to rise up. Mm -hmm. And in that light brings understanding. It brings illumination to revelation that's going to cause the transformation within. Mm -hmm. And once you get really clear about who you are, Owning your power, owning your assignment, embracing your DNA, then the confidence is in the ah, mix. Okay. And it begins okay. to okay. arise like yeast in bread. Wow. It begins to These rise metaphors. from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And then you begin to just walk it out. Mm -hmm. So it starts with, you know, doing the work, mm -hmm. shifting the mindset, believing in yourself. Okay. okay, embracing your DNA, and in that process, in that mix, you have faith, 
you've gotten rid of fear, mm -hmm. you have confidence, your courage is raised, rising up, and then you have the support of a life coach such as myself. Mm -hmm. That's holding you accountable. Okay. Nudging you to go forward. Right. Take the risk because you have to come out of your comfort zone. Right. And right. move into the risk zone mm -hmm. because that's where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. And then, long before you know it, you are in a new place. It's like magic. It's like magic. It happens first on the inside. Mm -hmm. Just like when a plant grows, it starts as a seed. Right. Before you have the end result of the fruit or the flower. So it's a process. It's time. Okay. It's it's time. But it's doable. Okay. <laughs> and I, I love the way that you've taken the words. I mean, there's, you know, alliteration, so confidence and courage and transformation and trial. Um, clearly, you love what you do. Yes, yes. How did you come up with this name? You mentioned earlier Destiny. How did you mm -hmm. come up with this name, Divine Destiny Institute? Yes. You know, I believe that everything is divine, that there is a greater power that guides and lead us into our place of destiny. We have mm -hmm. an ultimate destination to reach. Mm -hmm. And so in that belief, my core value is one of truth and wisdom, mm -hmm. um, integrity and mm -hmm. compassion, generosity, and, and you have to really sit and get real comfortable with yourself. And so I was in a season of life as a primary caretaker mm -hmm. for my mom. And then in that position, it caused me to slow up. Ah, okay. And reflect. Mm -hmm. Because you do have to step back, reflect in order to step up. Yes. And go yes. forward. Mm -hmm. And so it's about connecting Mm -hmm. to your inner peace, to your mm -hmm. inner joy. Mm -hmm. And in that, there is a capacity for us to be great and to do more and to be more. We all have mm -hmm. dreams mm -hmm. and desires. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can manifest it is that you gotta go within. But we have to make the time. We have to create the space. No. We gotta find that sweet That's spot. True. That's physically true. and spiritually so that we rise up above the ashes, rise up above the storms, mm -hmm. and take life and make it wonderful and beautiful because that's what ultimately it was intended to be. I hear in the way that you speak the voice of a minister. <laughs> the voice of a preacher. Um, there's motivation and there's wisdom and grace that you talked about taking care of your mother. You mentioned earlier faith. Yeah. Um, when you work with individuals, mm -hmm. do they need to be connected to a particular faith? Absolutely not. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Because faith begins within. Mm -hmm. We have to have faith in ourselves. And mm -hmm. I think that's the missing piece or the missing link mm -hmm. in the world today. We want to look far out in the sky and way above our head for something or someone to mm -hmm. tell us what to do. Mm -hmm. But the truth, the revelation, the answers, the insight and the wisdom is within. Mm -hmm. So faith is not uh, a denomination. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I just wanted to make yes. sure if someone was listening, yes. they were, weren't confused. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So you had a personal journey, you had some challenges, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and you made a decision, as you said, to step back and take care of your mother. And in that time, it gave you the opportunity to reflect and now you work with people to help them move forward. Mm -hmm. You brought um, mugs. I see mugs here. <laughs> but what do you see? What, what are these reflective of? Oh, first of all, I have a gift for you. So oh, that's why okay. it's two of yes, them. I like it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and this mug is to remind you, my clients, mm -hmm. 
that you can trailblaze into your destiny, into mm -hmm. your purpose, mm -hmm. into your God-given abilities and your assignment to serve mankind. Because if we each embrace our DNA, this world would be a much better place. So I thought it was really cool that every day when you sip your coffee or mm -hmm. your tea, that you can be reminded that you are a trailblazer, that you're making a difference, that you may be out of the box and out of the norm, but we need more trailblazers ah. and you matter. Ah, I love it. To me, that's significant. Uh, I've often been called out of the box, out of my mind, but out of the box. <laughs> so uh, I like the I like the transformational and trailblazing yes. aspect of that. Yes. Um, yes. You mentioned, or I mentioned, that you're an author. Yes. Um, tell me about some of the books that you've written, and how do people find out about those books? Absolutely. We have a website, DivineDestinyInstitute.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and I'm also on Facebook, right. LinkedIn, Twitter, all the social media sites, mm -hmm. so it's easily to connect. And mm -hmm. the book, several of them, one is called A Set Time, mm -hmm. a and set A Set Time, time mm -hmm. yes, A Set Time is about 21 days of transformation, mm -hmm. <laughs> recognizing that it is your due season, it's your set time to be you, to be your best, to be more, mm -hmm. to give more, mm -hmm. to live an abundant life. And so mm -hmm. it's inspirational with okay. poems and um, all types of motivational quotes okay. to get you through because you know it only takes 21 days to create a so habit. Have it. Okay. Yes, yes, Got yes. That. So we're always That's about okay. shifting okay. to the next level, to a, okay. to a new beginning. Okay. And um, I have a school mm -hmm. where I actually um, teach people about how to connect to their purpose, how to discover their purpose, how to know that you're on track, that you're mm. in the right place at the right time. Okay. And so the school uh, Pathetic Ministry mm -hmm. will cause you to become more anchored in who you are okay, so that you can serve and so that you can love and make a difference. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. So go to our website, DivineDestinyInstitute.com. Check me out on Facebook, okay. LinkedIn, Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. and I would love to connect with people. Excellent. Yes. And I know if, as, I won't say if, as people are thinking about next year, you have a conference coming up. Will you share a little bit about the conference awesome. before we close? Yes, yes. thank you. Let me see, November the 5th November at Temple 5th. University in mm -hmm. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. we are hosting a One Day Abundance Now mm -hmm. conference. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is gather people from across the city with some dynamic speakers and workshops and opportunities for people to really feel and experience and really get clear about abundance being more than money. Mm. Abundance is a mindset. Okay. Right. Abundance is a 360 degree concept. And so it incorporates the mind, the body, and the spirit. Mm. And so that's going to be phenomenal, November okay. the 5th at Temple University. And then as we move forward to 2017, we have a big getaway, five day getaway Mention in St. Lucia. Mention thank you, quickly. thank you, St. Lucia. St. Okay. Lucia is calling us. Okay. And we're going to get away for a time of shifting wow. and renewing and revitalizing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eugenia Trailblazer Rucker transformation speaker, coach, author. Wow, with Divine Destiny Institute. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, again, a wonderful presence. Uh, a friend of mine talks about gravitas, mm. and you have that. You have Thank gravitas. you. Gravitas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Significant stories, significant energy, significant passion, significant entrepreneurs. Continue to join us as we interview 80 entrepreneurs in the Philadelphia area.